Hi, everybody. Peace out. Uncle Jesse here. So, I had my sister ask me and a couple other people ask me, how's the house coming? Well, it's coming slow because I'm poor and I'm living off my pension. And, uh, you know, money's tight. Anyway, here we go. We're going to start from the beginning and I'm going to show you around the house. This is the outside of our house we're building. And so, as you come in, there's going to be a big sliding glass door. Ain't that right, Chubby? You poor old creator. And that's Bigfoot's. The infamous Bigfoot, that's Chubby's puppy. Okay, Chubby, watch your tail, girl. We are right now using this as our kitchen. And that's going to be the bathroom back there. That's the windows to the bedroom we're staying in. We're going to close that off once we finish the downstairs. Now, we have the upstairs finished. Chi Chi's made her a bed over here. We got rains today. And I'm rooting some more pineapples. I love pineapples. But anyway, this is our going to be our kitchenette area, kitchen area. And the bathroom is going to be right around the corner there where I just showed you. This is the back where the pool is. We got baby ducks in it. And there's the pumps for the pool. The hit and miss pumps that's the rice field out there the farm it's pretty much all around all right let's go upstairs for the latest update on the house and i will explain some other things as we're talking about the house okay this is going to be our bedroom and we started on the beams for the roof. Got pretty much all the beams set for the roof. We got some more concrete work to do, a bunch more concrete work to do. We're going to have a double sliding glass door here with a small balcony here so we can see the scenic view. Gonna have to trim the mango tree back a little bit. And uh, I can sit up here and watch the passers by. We have different fruit trees, banana trees, mulberry bushes, mulberry trees, uh, dragon fruit, all kind of fruits, and you know, stuff like that. Anyway, this is going to be our small bedroom which is not really that small it's about uh eight by ten eight by twelve something like that and uh sorry about the video i cannot see the camera in the daylight the screen so i'm just taking a guess of what's going on but anyway this is going to be our little living room here the sliding glass door out to the small balcony this is going to be the laundry and washroom. And that's going to be about it. It's just going to be me and Zia. And, uh, hey, that'll be great. We've been working on this about a year and a half, and everything is paid for. We've been doing it off my pension. Plus, if you watch our other videos, we are buying property on another location that a way to be exact which is west go down this road run into a dirt road keep going straight you'll hit the mud hole i dropped the bike in then you'll hit the pavement and right as you hit the pavement you look over to the right over this direction is our property in the middle of farm fields like this it's a beautiful setting I may still be around when they build that up, but 
I'm beginning to wonder. It's okay, though. Hey, life goes on. Anyway, this is the roof of the main house. We're still working on that, too, but we got it dried in. We can stay, hang out in the main house. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to make the ceiling slant up with the roof. And I'll explain why the roof slants up like that. Let me get down from here. Um, uh, pineapple's in the way. Chee Chee! Chee Chee's hiding from the thunderstorm. We have a little thunderstorm today. And uh, the dogs are kind of hanging out with me. Of course, they love me. I love animals. That's the duck pen over there with the ducks. We got some chickens loose out there. They need to be put back in their pen. It's at the end of the duck pen. Now there's the swimming pool you've seen in the other videos and photos. There's the, the diesel pump, hit and miss motors that, that pumps the farm out here. <coughs> but uh they have another pump I don't know if we can see it for the fence to try to keep the ducks and dogs yeah there we go there's the other hit and miss motor they're starting a new crop of rice all over they got this over here already planted and they still got to till cut and till this right here and then transplant all of this small rice bed over there that's real pretty and green and make it look like this rice patty over here. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> junk, little junk piles everywhere. We're under construction. That's okay. All right, then. So, we're going to the front of the house. And like I said... We're still under construction and everything is paid for. It may not be pretty right now, but we're doing good. And uh, we got that wall pretty much fixed. It's the way it's going to look. It's a little parking area here. We have a small roof for it. We'll expand on that later. It's my brother's trike, brother in law's trike. We have building materials out here. And this is the front yard. Oh, we got one of the plants falling from the rain. One of our fruit trees, citrus fruit trees. All right, I'm coming in the front door. Karaoke machine. Our motorcycle, which got dumped in the mud hole. It runs, but it knocks. I'm gonna have to get the motor rebuilt, but you know, money's getting tight, so we're moving on. We'll run it till it quits. Coming into the front door, we have the refrigerator. Plugs are limited. We just got it quick wired. We have a bedroom. We have a living area over here. Zia's brother and sister-in-law's bedroom. And over here is Zia. Say hi, baby. Hi. We're cleaning up our bedroom. So this is the main house. Zia's bicycle. Got everything in for the rain. As you come back out, oh, my God, if you watched the other video, you saw this. We had a well implosion. Here is our bathroom, our CR. And, you know... It needs cleanup. We have the CR and the shower. And, uh, well, later on, this is going to be something. I'm not sure. Probably a um, washroom, maybe. Uh, kitchenette. We got a sink going on over here. And brothers, brother in law's cooking area. This is their outside kind of sort of kitchen. But the main thing is, we don't have to pay rent. The family owns this outright. So, 
Everything I've showed you on video, the family owns outright. Chee poo poo, daddy's baby. I don't know why this phone keeps going in and out, but it's it's getting terrible. They don't want to keep up with me. And then we make the complete circle past the pumps, right back out, and we see Curly Tail. She's dancing on the bench. We have the outside table, storage area, back to the farm. We have a little bamboo type shack in the back with the dirty kitchen out here and storage area. And then we go back in. Two, I guess you'd call it our two-story apartment built on the side of the main house just for me and Zia okay what we plan on doing is and let me get this thing fixed I don't do a whole lot of talking head videos but uh, I'll try and I don't know how I got this thing set Okay, well, let's do this. All right. <clears throat> we got the house, the house and property. Family owns it outright. It's all paid for. Let's see if I, if y'all can see me. Oh, yeah, good enough. Let's see. We'll try. Okay. This is all paid for. Uh, the taxes are paid up. The taxes are less than $20 a year. That's no big deal. The farm, uh, that's a conglomeration owned by the family. Now, right now, the family's not getting along too good. So, that's the main reason me and Zia bought property somewhere else. We're going to finish this because her mama owns what you've seen in the netting fence line in the front yard. The lot's not very big, but she owns it outright. It's paid for. It's in her mom's name. The property that we're buying is in Zia's name, and it's going to stay in Zia's name because I can't own property here. I am a foreigner, but you know what? I really don't give a shit. I gave all my property, my house, just about everything, I gave it away in the United States to get the hell away from the bullshit that was going on around me. So, I'm doing good in the Philippines. My health is okay. I need to lose a few pounds. I have a beautiful wife loves me very dearly and you know how I know she loves me very dearly because I am a poor ass American with a very small pension so if you think you can come here and live on a thousand dollars a month you can you sure as hell can you're not going to live like a king but you can survive in America, if you're making a thousand dollars or less, you're not going to be able to pay rent, pay light bill, and buy groceries, and pay the deductible on your medicine if you're retired or disabled. You're not going to be able to do it. You will be out in the street homeless. Trust me, I got some friends there that I talk to when they can afford to turn their phone online, and they're homeless. They're retired. Homeless, living in the street. Anyway, let's don't discuss that. I'm doing great. What we have is paid for. This is a year and a half of work with just a family, Zia's brothers, Zia's fathers, Zia's father, and two brothers help, three brothers help sometimes. One brother lives too far away. He's uh, 
working on a military base somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, we see him maybe once or twice a year. <coughs> so everything's good with us, sis. We're doing great. Everything's paid for. We pay for it little by the month. Now, if you watch my other videos, you'll know that I just got my 13A visa done for the next five years. Now that's an expense if you're coming here, you're going to have to look into. Because, see, I live on a little less than $1,500 a month. Now, if you're coming here with $800 to $1,000 a month, you can live. You can get an apartment. My last apartment that we had Dan Van Tien was $65 a month. My light bill was $1,500, or what am I saying? Pesos, let's, let's start over with this. Our apartment was $65 a month. That's 3,500 pesos, about, give or take a few pesos. The light bill was 1,500 pesos a month, which is $30. Uh, the internet, you buy a load here, you can buy as much as you want. You can buy a $2 load for seven days, gives you one gigabyte a day. Or you can buy up to 500 pesos load, which is $10 for seven days, which gives you several gigabyte a day, depending on what you need. But you're using cell towers, so sometimes it's not a good connection. Here we have our own hardline Wi-Fi. Very good connection. It's very consistent. If we have a problem with it, within a day or two, at the most, they're out. Usually they're out same day fixed it. Within a day or two, with all the storms we've been having, took them a couple days, it's okay, they fixed it. All right, then. <clears throat> I forgot what I was, the point I was getting to. Oh, Mikey. Mikey asked me how we were doing. He's feeling a little lonely. We're doing good, Mikey. Um, this is the progress on the house. We're, we're within the next year and a half, we'll have the other property paid for. Um, hopefully we'll have this finished within the next year and a half. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. Uh, in the next several months, we're gonna have the roof on it. We're gonna have it dried in and start with windows and doors. I know that for a fact. Um, we're gonna be working on the bathroom. We're gonna have a full bathroom tile in here. I'm gonna to try to make it look like an American house. Then we are going to build, I haven't made up my mind, and um, Zia's discussed what she wants. She wants a Filipino style bamboo shack or bamboo hut. <clears throat> which they are beautiful. Um, you can get a one bedroom bamboo hut either built on your property or brought to your property already built with a metal roof and it's got a like an open picnic area and one bedroom that you can close in and insulate. It's, it's got wired for electricity. It is gorgeous and you can get this for a thousand US dollars 1500 US dollars and up. You, you can make them big if you want to. That's what she wants. Um, I'm thinking maybe half concrete, half bamboo hut. Uh, we go with downstairs, concrete, you know, make it look like bamboo. I can do that. With a, with a kitchen, you know, and a bathroom, all concrete. Then, we put the bamboo hut either over to the side or on top with outside stairs. We want the other property so we can have a vegetable garden. We really don't have room here for a vegetable garden because the farmland, the production comes first. Now, this part of the property over here was given to us by Zia's family we were told we could build a house. But since grandma and grandpa owned the farm, 
and they own a lot more property somewhere else and they own the property across the street and next to us except for Annie's house Annie owns her house outright and a little bit of property around it the aunts and uncles have I don't know you know a family quarrel let's just put it that way I'm not going to talk bad about any of them because you know it's a struggle here um, most Filipinos live off of $300 a month. Um, I'm not sure exactly what Zia's father makes working in the courts in Manila. But he works for the courts, the main court in Manila. Kind of like I did with the courthouse in Albany, Georgia. But uh, he makes in between 20000 and 25000 pesos. Now, that's between four and five hundred dollars a month. Here, a doctor only makes between fifty and seventy-five thousand pesos. I make as much as a doctor in the Philippines. So, we're doing pretty damn good. We can't go lavish vacations, we can't go lavish this, but we have our own transportation, we have our own house, we have food in the fridge. We have vegetables. I mean, just look at how fat my animals are. Look how fat I am. Hey, we're not going hungry. We have electricity. Let me turn on the light. You probably done got so dark in here from the weather. You can't see me. Huh? I need to do, put some more lights in, but we haven't even started electricity yet. Anyway, if you're coming here, if you want to come here, and find a wife, you can find one. Now, I've dated, the first year I was here, I dated several women and lived with two for short extended periods. As with any relationships, you find out, hey, once the new wears off, she really don't love you. She's looking for better. Especially if she's looking for more money because I'm not rich. I have no money, but I know my wife loves me because, hey, I'm basically ass out poor right now, and uh, she loves me. Anyway, you come here, you can live in the Philippines on $1,000 a month. If you pinch your pennies, you can't go out partying every day. You can't go out partying every weekend, but you can at least go out and party once a month if you manage yourself. You can buy a motorcycle. Your family can help you buy a motorcycle. It's got to be in their name. You can't own anything here being a foreigner. I wish America was like that because we got all these bad people that hate Americans owning more land, owning more businesses, and owning more shit in the United States than we do citizens. And guess what? The illegal aliens are getting twice my pension a month and free high-rise hotels in five stars that they don't appreciate. I've seen on the videos, they're tearing it just tearing it down, tearing it up. Hey, they put the veterans out in the street to move the illegal aliens in. Not going to get into that. You know why. If not, look it up. You'll find out. But you can come here and live in peace and pretty much mostly quiet if you live in the province. But if you go to the city, it's going to be hustle and bustle. And yeah, you can get robbed here snatcher had my hat snatched off kid run away I screamed happy birthday with some obscenities and kept walking I keep my wallet on the chain I can either put it in the front pocket or the back pocket either way pickpockets don't really bother me because they see this chain and they see a big white man which is a foot sometimes two foot taller than them they're not going to pull on my chain because they're afraid they might crank up a chainsaw. But anyway, 
That's how you do it. Keep to yourself. Now look at the way I dress. I dress like I'm a broke-ass American because if I'm wearing a Rolex watch, if I'm wearing a big diamond wedding band, and I'm wearing expensive sunglasses, which I've got a few pair, and a gold chain, somebody here is going to snatch it or maybe pull a gun and rob me at gunpoint. But if I look like this, I'm not going to get bothered. Here in the province, shit, I could walk around with my wallet swinging, and the kids would walk up and say, Sir, sir, sir. So, yeah, it's very safe here in the Philippines. Now, there is a couple of little minor land disputes with uh, Filipinos shooting at one another up in the mountains here. But if you're a foreigner, they're pretty much not going to bother you unless somebody puts a hit out on you. That's another case. Watch some videos. You'll find out. Anyway, that's pretty much what I got to say. I probably over my limit, over my time, and who knows if I'm even recording because I can't see what's going on. I'm just talking to you. So, peace out, Uncle Jesse from the Philippines. Y'all love one another. And quit fighting over the damn government. That's what they want. And uh, let's go, Brandon! <laughs>